Welcome to Trina Solar. My name is Klaus Hofmeister and I'm the product marketing manager of Trina Solar in Europe. With today's presentation, I would like to guide you through Trina's product portfolio for 2020 and beyond. We also give you a little bit of insight of the latest news about our company in the market, and I will guide you through our new technologies integrated into our product. Who are we? A slight insight of what Trina is and how we are set up. Trina is a Chinese based company. We are based in Jiangsu with our headquarters and also with our manufacturing uh, factories. We are having a global footprint. We are represented in the most important continents all over the world, from North and Southern America, Australia, and of course, with a high focus on the European market. Trina has shipped overall globally more than 50 gigawatts of modules into the market. Three gigawatts of grid connected projects are done and owned by Trina themselves. Trina is active in more than 100 countries with 500 and more active customers all over the world. Trina's company size is around 13,000 and more employees right now and those are working to produce all the modules and selling them in different countries and regions. Europe for Krina is definitely a very, very strong market, and we are having a strong footprint into the European market. We are also focusing quite heavily after China as one of the most important markets in Krina, uh, Trina's portfolio. Krina has shipped more than 10 gigawatts into the European market with a size of two gigawatt per year annual shipments and with a constant rate of increasing. We want to grow further and further in the European market with our business. We have eight regional offices and colleagues all over in Europe, which will support you in your language and also which will support you with uh, all your requests and uh, questions you have. Those 80 employees are really dedicated to the customer try to provide you with the latest information, but also, let's say, guide you to the next company where you can buy our modules. We have a network of more than 100 distributors selling our products in the European market in the different countries. And we are active in more than 20 countries with uh, utility scale customers in Europe. Those are our partners who really deal on their large scale projects all over in Europe. What makes a reliable brand? Bloomberg's New Energy Finance has ranked us four times in a row as top bankable company in the world. This is, think, is giving you a great confidence that Trina, first of all, is a reliable partner. We are financially strong and economically we are well set up. So we hope that this, let's say, creates enough confidence in you to be a partner of Trina and to work together with us. How do we see the European market as Trina? Here an outlook into 2020 and 2021 for the different segments Trina is working. We have the residential segment, then the commercial industrial segment, and of course the large scale utility scale segment. You can see that 2020 and 2021, Trina and the market is growing in all segments. The most of the, or let's say the highest growth is visible in the utility scale market on the project side. But all of the other segments, commercial and residential, they are still growing. So we are driving down further the cost of PV and see that all the segments are growing and that there is a high demand for PV products. How does Trina see itself? The slogan, the world leading PV and smart energy solution provider, more or less tells the story. So Trina is not only a PV module manufacturer, this is what, this are of course our roots, but in the meantime, we have grown even further. So we are offering turnkey solutions to our project partners. So we can offer modules, mounting structure, and other components which are needed for a PV system. And beyond that, Trina is even going further. So 
things like Internet of Things, storage solutions are on the focus within the Trina portfolio. So Trina is a growing company uh, diversifying to different aspects around renewable energy. Now let's move further to the power of innovation, to those technical, let's say, news and innovations which we have integrated recently or which is coming in the next product generation. One major step forward has been the introduction of new technology platforms means new wafer sizes in the solar industry. Currently, Trina is running on three different wafer and cell sizes within its products. The starting point is the 158 millimeter technology in our portfolio. Then we are also having products with 166 millimeter wafers and just latest and announced uh, just recently the 210 millimeter solar cell size, which is the largest size of solar cells in the industry right now. This is derived from the semiconductor industry, which is using 12 inch round wafers. If you cut the full square out of that round wafer, you end up at the 210 millimeter size. The industry is really moving on with respect to solar cell sizes. The 156 millimeter solar cell size has been for a long time the standard. The so-called six inch cells have set for several years uh, the standard in the industry and also let's say more or less defined with its size the size of the module now with growing solar cell sizes and and diversifying uh, the, the the wafer dimensions we are also seeing that module dimensions are changing dramatically this for the customer creates some let's say confusion because when you look at different module types saying 60 cell module then you might you don't even know exactly what kind of cell size is inside. So you expect to see maybe 158, 166, or, or even a different size. What that means is even if you have a 60 cell module, you might have different peak powers announced by the different manufacturers. And that is difficult to differentiate and also let's say to see by the customer. So just to, to let you know and just to make you aware, Please always look at the module size, check the module efficiency, and you might have a much better basis for comparing module to module. The 210 millimeter wafer size is really extraordinary for us, but also for the future. This is what Trina expects, and this is why we jumped into this technology for, yeah, for now and for the next product generation. We expect that this solar cell size will be around for the next five to 10 years, and it will set the standard not only for the next generations of products, but also as a technology platform. It will be the most economic platform on the long run, and that's why Trina has directly taken that move from 166 to 210 millimeters. What we can't see here on this slide is that in the meantime, the market has, let's say, changed also in a different direction. There is a cell size which it's not shown here on this graph but which is uh, in size in terms of let's say the next generation uh, 180 millimeter wafer and cell size this is an interim step which we as trina didn't take because we expect that this will only last for a short period of time we really go for the 210 millimeter as the future generation So that is again the explanation 210 millimeter is derived from the 12 inch semiconductor wafer size. Other than that, Trina has integrated even further, let's say, technology drivers into its product portfolio. Half cut cell technology was introduced quite a while ago. With the half cut technology, we have now optimized the cell interconnect technology. We have moved to multi-bus bar technology for lower serious resistance, for higher reliability when it comes to microcracks. Because a microcrack within a multi-bus bar cell has less effect or is less chance to disconnect part of the cell electrically and therefore increases reliability. The lower resistance also leads to a lower 
operating temperature of the module. So a two degree delta in terms of operating temperature means 1% more uh, production of the module. And that gives really more kilowatt hours per kilowatt peak for the end customer. The multi bus bar technology also has a better light trapping effect. The round wires are beneficial to reflect the light into the cell, while a flat ribbon is reflecting the light which uh, comes into the module or into the cell straight away away from the module and therefore it does not contribute to the power production. Half cut cell module technology also has the advantage that if you let's say partially shade the module under certain circumstances that the module can still produce in 50% of its uh, area and that helps to optimize the layout of systems on a larger scale under certain uh, shading conditions to produce also more kilowatt hour than uh, than a conventional full cell module without that design benefit. Trina's full black module is really an outstanding product, I can say. And if you have a chance to look at it in, in reality, please take the opportunity and convince yourself with Trina's latest and greatest full black technology. What have we done? We have introduced a new cell process which makes the front side of the cell even darker. So the appearance is getting, let's say, much darker and is less blue on the cell surface. The multi bus bar technology, the thin wires which are applied to the cells are hardly visible when you go away from the module. And let's say there is no reflective or hardly any reflective part on the front side of the cell. So this makes the cell even darker than it was before. Of course, the cell, the module on the front side is extremely, extremely optimized to appear as black and as dark as possible. Here on this picture, we have a dark backside or a black backside as well. The latest module generation from Trina also has a white backside. This is a product change which was needed in order to improve efficiency on the module side. So with a white backside, we could increase the module efficiency by one watt class or the power, the maximum power. That means also further product optimization for the benefit of the customer to achieve a higher power black, full black module. The black frame and the black back sheet are usual, let's say, on a full black module, but other small little gritty details have been optimized. The main cross connectors on in the module, which are, let's say, connecting the cell strings within the module, are covered with black stripes. So this means there's no shiny cross connector visible anymore, which reflects light. This even enhances the visual appearance of the module. And the last little detail was the, the barcode, which is laminated into the full black module. It has been inverted. It's now a white letter barcode on a black background instead of a white label with a black barcode. So even that is the latest, let's say, detail which has been optimized in order to make the full black module a great looking product with a visual, with really outstanding visual appearance. And really look into it, check it out and convince yourself about this product. Dual glass technology. I'm really a great fan personally of the Trina dual glass products. Why? This product technology has really some major advantages versus the glass back sheet. First of all, the cells are really symmetrically integrated in between two glass layers in the encapsulation material. So whenever there is mechanical stress on the glass layers, the stress on the cell is minimized and therefore risk for any, let's say, mechanical induced damages into the cell is reduced to the lowest possible, let's say, level. Secondly, the double glass construction provides the highest certified class A fire rating. I mean, from both sides, the module is perfectly protected by two glass layers. That also increases the resistance against any kind of environmental, uh, yeah, aggressive substances which are the module is exposed to mean sand, any acidic or alkalic stuff, or even the salt. 
This also leads to the, let's say, overall robustness of the, the double glass product. And therefore, we could also extend the power warranty for those products to 30 years. Nevertheless, on the warranty side, this product also provides a low first year degradation and a much lower annual degradation compared to a glass back sheet module. Trina has a very good track record with double glass modules. More than three gigawatts have been shipped globally uh, for different projects. And the double glass construction with bifacial modules is the best, let's say, solution for single axis tracking. So bifacial combined with trackers and also maybe with the Trina Pro solution really gives you a, a, a economic benefit compared to any other solution with glass and back sheet form. Trina has some patents on the dual glass construction, and we also said they could observe a very, very low power degradation, three times the IEC standard testing. So the module is really outstanding in terms of its reliability performance. When it comes to the construction of the module, I have to, let's say, uh, emphasize that the module is fully surrounded by a frame. So we protect also, let's say, the glass by frames. And that means in terms of handling, the module is completely robust. Uh, the danger of damaging the glasses by hitting it somewhere is reduced. And therefore, the double glass construction overall is also easy to mount because you can use standard clamps. So all modules from Trina with double glass are now framed. So really recommend you to look into Trina's double glass portfolio. Also from a cost perspective, it is very, very attractive because double glass modules are very close in terms of cost to uh, glass back sheet modules right now. That's it on the technology side. Now we really dive straight into the product portfolio. Twina has split its product portfolio in three segments. And the first segment I want to dive into is the residential rooftop segment. The residential rooftop segment covers, let's say, two major products. The first product, uh, the first two on the top one are the full black generation. The full black modules, uh, two constructions we have here with the black front side and the black back sheet, and also with the, let's say, black front side and the white back sheet. At the moment, we only produce the black white version. So this means the front side is, of course, full black and the rear side is white. This is the latest generation because we can achieve the highest watt classes in production, up to 330 watt for a 158 millimeter cell technology is really something outstanding. The other main run of products in this residential segment are the standard mono products like shown here, the third from the top and the fourth. Those are, let's say, the main run of products in this segment. They are really cost attractive optically and visually really attractive and also from the power classes up to 345 watt 158 millimeter cell size and also up to 380 watt for the 166 wafer size they are all let's say integrating the multi bus bar technology and they are all 120 half cut cell design so here you get the highest let's say achievable efficiency for the best price and the a very good performance and also let's say somehow a really good visual for those two products in the residential area. The next product or the next segment are CNR rooftop but also ground mounted projects where we have let's say specific products which are going into that. On top you see again the DE06M, which is the mono perk half cut cell design on 158 millimeter wafer size. This is similar to the one before, but just with a silver frame. So this motor, this module is available in two configurations, black frame and silver frame, while the silver frame is mainly dedicated to the project arena. We again have the 166 product with the DE08M, which is our latest. Uh, invention in this uh, size and especially in this configuration. This goes up to 380 watt. Please consider that the dimension between uh, DE06M and DE08M are slightly different. So please check out the data sheet for exact dimension 
when you are, let's say, planning a system or installation for those products. On this slide, you can also see that we still are maintaining some kind of poly products. The 120 half cut cell based on 158 millimeter wafers is still available. We are achieving watt classes in the range of 285 to 290, maybe 295. Yeah? Those are the products on the poly side which are still available. Trina is still manufacturing poly products, this I have to say, but we are not investing any further, let's say, amount or resources into R&D or further enhancement or further efficiency increase. So Trina is running its existing production lines to, let's say, keep up with the demand which is still available. But and anyhow, when the market demand is going down and down, Trina at a certain point might decide to shut down its poly lines and they are no longer, let's say, economically interesting. When you look at this portfolio on the slide, I have to tell you that for those products, we're also having double glass versions available. The double glass versions, which are produced since 2019 and this product categories, are having two millimeter glass on the front side and two millimeter glass on the back side. So from a weight perspective, they are slightly heavier than the glass back sheet modules but still within a very good range to be, first of all, handled and mounted. And that makes them also, from, from my perspective, really attractive for installers and customers to look into. Then we come to the largest segment, which Trina is serving with its product generations. And this is by far, let's say, moving the highest volume in the industry. And therefore, this portfolio has been really, let's say, uh, increased further. And we have, let's say, for all kind of applications, uh, the right product available. That's what I think is, is the case when I look at this portfolio. The first top three products are more or less quite similar, while the top one is, let's say, really the top product we are offering right now and which uh, is currently starting in production. This is the Vertex series, and this is really based on the new 210 millimeter wafer generation. We are using 150 third cut cells in this module, and the design of the module is completely unique. So you will see when you look at it that it is really an outstanding piece of engineering, and we achieve 500 watt and beyond with this module generation. Here we see the glass back sheet version of the Vertex series. Below that, we have a 72 cell module built out of 144 half cut cells with 166 millimeter wafers. So this is a conventional half cut cell design module with 72 cells format. And this is available in the range of 440 to 455 watts uh, within the Trina portfolio, also in a glass back sheet construction. The same product available 72 cells with smaller cell size of 158 millimeter, with a watt class range of 400 to 450 watts. So here the customer really has a wide variety of choice. Uh, what he thinks is available, maybe what he needs in terms of its location. So please feel free if you have any doubts or if you need any further uh, information on those product range to contact us directly. On the very bottom, Trina is also maintaining a 72 cell half cut cell design module with poly cells inside. So the same as I mentioned before in the CNI side is, uh, is valid for the ground mount project segment. So the large scale poly module is still available. It is uh, still manufactured. So for customers who are really interested in a yeah, very cost efficient module solution, they can also look into the poly arena. Also from this module portfolio listed here, we also have double glass versions available. Double glass monofacial, but also double glass bifacial. And that brings me already to the next slide, because that is, I think, the top of the edge product at the moment, portfolio and range. This is the large ground mount bifacial product portfolio line. This is also starting with the Vertex uh, series on the very top. So instead of having a glass backside and monofacial, we have a dual glass bifacial product here, which is yeah, the highest power bifacial product within the Trina portfolio, also with the highest efficiency. Below that, 
we have the 72 cell configurations of uh, the glass backsheet module, also bifacial, also dual glass and frame. So what class range is 435, 450 for the 166 millimeter technology and 400 to 415 for the 158 millimeter technology. Those models are really only available as dual glass products with frame around it. So bifacial within Trina means dual glass design. That's it on the product portfolio. Here is another very informative slide for you. I won't go into the details uh, right now anymore because I've already mentioned all the products which are listed on here. But you can see here again, glass backsheet and glass, dual glass products in a quite good overview so you can orientate yourself to find the right product for you. You can see that Trina has really uh, well, let's say balanced portfolio of glass backsheet, but also dual glass products. So I assume that every customer, everybody who's interested in our Trina products will find the right product for its application and it's for its system. On the last, or let's say on one of the last slides, here is a small summary on which drivers have brought up the module power over the last, let's say, almost 10 to 11 years. This is, or the blue line, the blue top line on this graph, which is reflecting the module power over the time, is based on reference to a 72 cell module design. So in 2009, a 72 cell module, this time definitely a full cell module, had a maximum peak power of 290 watt. This is based on a mono wafer. Since then, the development, several developments have taken place. You can see on top that we have, of course, increased different metallizations on, on the front side of the module. We have introduced the selective emitter technology. We have introduced PERC or PERC plus technology. Half cut cell design has been established in the market just recently. Multi bus bar technology. But I think what is more key and what is more visible here, the change to different cell sizes has provided the biggest steps in terms of module power. So until more or less yeah, 2018 to 2019, when the 158 millimeter technology started, module power increased in really significant steps. To 166 and 200 millimeter or 210 millimeter wafers, the module size or the module power has increased dramatically, but also, as I has already said, the module size with it. So, with the latest generation, we just in, we just now introduced with the Vertex series, we have achieved the 500 watt peak module size, and that is, I think, on the long run, the trend within the industry. We will go 500 watt and beyond in the next generation of products is already under development beyond 500 watts. All right, that's it. That is something what I would like to summarize again. The Vertex series is currently our real technological and, and yeah, also from an economical point of view, our leading product. It has multi-bus bar technology integrated, it has 500 watt peak and beyond. It has the highest efficiency with 21% and beyond. It offers, let's say, to an investor and also to uh, EPCs and engineering companies, lowest LCE currently possible within our product portfolio. Therefore, it also, let's say, provides highest returns. And the industry is really striving to lower and lower LCE just to be competitive with other let's say sources of energy and electricity production. With the 210 millimeter wafer technology, we are focusing on the future technology platform we expect to lead the market within the next five to 10 years. We have a new third cut multi bus bar cell technology with a new cutting uh, technology also implemented. So highest reliability of new cutting technology. And we offer high packaging density this means we put the highest, let's say, uh, density of active cell area into the module. Therefore, why uh, we also achieve the 21% module efficiency. 
So please don't hesitate to look into our new Vertex series. I guess that really offers a high value for the money and it's really interesting also from a return of investment point of view. Here we have an overview how to contact Trina. So whenever you feel that you need some specific answers or you have uh, any kind of question which you would like to address to Trina, to our product portfolio, to our technology, or to supply and, and, and sales activities, please don't hesitate to contact your next or your, your closest contact partner here within Europe. If you don't find any contact person here on this list for your specific country, don't hesitate to either contact the German Solar, Trina Solar Office, or any which is close to you. Thank you very much on behalf of Trina. I hope you got a lot of valuable information and we are looking forward to meet you. And uh, yeah, feel free if you're interested in our product, we are also looking forward to go into business with you. Thank you very much.